Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com, and I've got a little bit of uh, a tip for you. If your RC submarine can't seem to stay vertical while it's under power. So with an RC submarine, Static stability is exceptionally important. And what I mean by static stability is the ability of the model to maintain an upright posture without any input occurring as a result of water flowing over the hull or control surfaces. So basically, if that submarine is floating stationary in the water, it should be very stable vertically. So if you were to grab that, that sail, pull it to the side, it should right itself with a fair degree of energy. If that is not occurring, what will happen is something called torque induced roll. And this is particularly prevalent with modern submarines with a single large screw directly along the longitudinal axis of the boat. And the reason I'm bringing all of this up right now is because this has occurred in a build that I am doing right now. And this is a uh, 70 second scale kilo. Now uh, you can see I've got some lead uh, in the keel there. I have got some foam in the upper hull and that is actually uh, just perfect for making that boat sit nice and upright when it's just sitting statically. But when I apply power, the entire boat heals over quite considerably and what that ends up doing under full throttle, your rudder begins to turn into a dive plane because it's now situated uh, with its face uh, more horizontal than vertical and that will actually, when you turn, drive the nose down and that's all sorts of problems. So we want to get that boat as vertical as possible while it's under power. And the way that you do that is to increase that writing moment. And the way that you do that is to add more foam and add more weight. Let's go to my test pond and I'll show you what I mean. So what I have here in my hand is the um, way in which I am going to increase that writing moment of the submarine. We've got a large block of foam and then we've got a bunch of weight and I've just simply used elastic bands to elasticize them together. So it's now uh, one unit. What I am actually hoping to do here because I've got my submarine perfectly dialed in from a trim perspective, both surfaced and submerged. I do not want to mess with that in the slightest. And so we need to make sure that the flotation energy and the sinking energy cancel each other out completely. And the way that we do that is play around with this until this block, this assembly is perfectly neutrally buoyant. Let's take a look at what that looks like in the water. So I'm just holding this here right now and if I let it go, break the surface tension, you can see it's just kinda, just kinda hovering there right now. I might even just take one of these little self-adhesive quarter ounce weights off. Um, but you can see it's just barely negatively buoyant. Just barely. So what I know now is I've got the correct amount of foam, I've got the correct amount of weight, and my only task now is to find a place to put it all in the hull where they're not going to affect the trim of the boat. So here's what I came up with uh, for the solution. It's not absolutely ideal in that you really do want to get these weights, or sorry, foam, as high as possible in the hull. But um, I did not want to mess around because that, uh, that foam is right up to the surface waterline and I don't want to go above that um, and I also don't want to worry about jamming foam uh, in the extreme bow or uh, stern of the boat. So this is tidy uh, and easy to get to and it still does create about a three inch differential between the foam and weight so it will create a writing moment. So I'm going to throw the cylinder back in there, we'll dunk this thing in the water and we'll see what it has done. Well, it looks like everything worked out like we hoped. 
left, uh, if we take a look at the boat here, uh, right now it's sitting at the correct water line and um, it's very, very stable. It writes itself nicely. Um, you know, what you can do is um, to test it. Let's just see if we can do this one handed. I'm gonna gently nestle that bow up against the side of the pool and it's gonna kick the throttle on and see what it does. So it doesn't move uh, a terrible lot, like about maybe half an inch, uh, you know, under full throttle there. Um, let's dive it down a little bit and see what it does. Get that prop so it doesn't suck so much air. And I'll just try the same thing just for fun. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, you know, like a like an inch. Uh, but really, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, it's gonna bring this boat back up to the surface. We will collect it, and uh, we're gonna be doing a final video on this thing for all of you. But uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this. If you found it useful, uh, if your boat is healing over under throttle you know why and how to fix it now so thanks for joining me this was bob martin the rc sub guy with the nautilus dry we'll catch you next time